Hi, my name is Alina Rahman, Technical Marketing Engineer for Future Electronics. Today we have a very quick demo showing on Semiconductor's Bluetooth Sensor Development Kit, the RSL10 Sense GEVK. This development kit is a compact node-to-cloud IoT sensor platform that allows development of various Bluetooth low-energy-based use cases. Along with hardware and software, the sensor development kit includes a mobile app to interact with the sensors. Before we get into the demo, I just want to give you a quick walkthrough of the key components on the board. The main star of the board is the Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 certified system and package, the RSL10, which is the industry's lowest power chip solution. In terms of other wireless connectivity, we have a dual interface NFC EE PROM. Moving on to the sensors, we have some superstars from Bosch and on semiconductor. From the latter, we have an ambient light sensor. On the Bosch side, there is a sensor for motion sensing and data processing, the BHI-160, which is a three-axis accelerometer, gyroscope, and programmable microcontroller. Over here is the BMM-150, which is a digital geomagnetic sensor, which is ideal for augmented reality and location-based services. And right here is the BME-680, which is an integrated environmental sensor for wearables and mobile applications. And now on to the quick demo. The kit includes the quick start guide, the RSL10 development board, a coin cell battery, and an NFC flexible antenna. The NFC flex antenna can be placed into the dedicated connector and underneath the battery holder for custom packaging cases. I wanted to mention that you'll observe that the quick start guide and the box have a QR scan code. You can use any standard reader to read this and it will open up to the product page and contains links to the Apple and Android apps. Please take out the coin cell battery and insert it in the back like so. The thing I like about this kit is how easy it is to take it out of the box and get going. Um, so if you're at a customer and you know sometimes you don't have time to bring out your laptop and open up the IDE to flash, compile, and build the code, um, you can pretty much do that using the app. However, if you are interested in a version like that, uh, there is a version of this kit available with a Segger J-Link debugger on it. The RSL10 Sense and Control app can be downloaded from the iOS Apple Store or Android Play Store. I've already downloaded it on my phone and have it opened. When you open it for the first time, you have the option to choose between Receive Mode or Broadcast Mode. The Receive Mode is for viewing sensor data and controlling the actuator over BLE or cloud. The Broadcast Mode is for receiving sensor data over BLE and broadcasting it to cloud services such as AWS, Azure, IBM, and so forth. Sometimes you'll observe that even though you have the Bluetooth enabled on the board, it's not showing up on the app. Don't worry. All you have to do is press the reset button because by default, after a minute, the board goes into low power mode. So once you press the reset button, and there you go. If we select the receive mode, we have the option to select the sensors of our choice. So I will select the ambient light, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the environmental sensor. Select Done. The app brings up a page with all the results of the sensors selected. As you can see, the ambient light sensor values go up drastically when I flash the light from my pen on the sensor. Now if I flip the board, you can observe that the values for the gyroscope and accelerometer change. And if you swipe this card to the right, you'll observe um, the data plots over time. On the broadcast mode, we have the option to choose from three brokers, Hive MQ, Cloud MQTT, and Eclipse MQTT. Today, let's select the Cloud MQTT. All right, so now that we've configured that in our settings, let's hit back. From the dashboard, select the same sensors as we did in the previous mode. So that's the accelerometer, ambient light, the gyroscope, and environmental sensor. This time, you'll notice the page changes, and you're seeing the sensor values being updated to the cloud via MQTT. By combining motion, environmental, and ambient light sensing with the ultra-low power of the RSL10, 
on semiconductor is enabling customers to realize a new class of battery-powered static mobile and wearable smart sensors targeting consumer and industrial applications in the Internet of Things, including worker safety, asset tracking, and smart home sensing. For more information on the RSL10 or on semiconductor, please contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us at futureelectronics.com.